But they say that a problem shared is a problem half, so splitting it four ways could only be a good thing, right? Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's time to impart our years of wisdom and life experience on the problems posed to the nation's agony aunts in our special feature, If I Were You. First up, writing to Stella Magazine's Vicky and Octavia, one woman's discovered that her husband of three years has lied about a lad's holiday he went away on. Despite saying he went to watch baseball in New York, she's discovered from friends he was actually in Las Vegas. Mm. And we all know what goes on in Vegas, don't we? Mm. Days in Vegas. I got married in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Look how that worked out, Exactly. <laughs> now, he's admitted the lie but says uh, he only told the fib because if he'd have told the truth, she wouldn't have let him go. Mm. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right, then. Uh, so, if you were her, would you be able to find it in your heart to forgive him? Well, first of all, I don't do lying. However, I would say, what's wrong with a relationship anyway? It's in a bit of a state. If he can't tell her the truth, is she a bit controlling? Do you know what I mean? Is she, he should be able to say uh, I'm going to Vegas. Yeah, so it's her fault that he's a lying no, swine. I, but we don't, well, <laughs> possibly, yeah, if she's, if she, you know, if no. she's a nagging, controlling... But, I mean, I've been in situations where I'm, I wasn't allowed to do things and you, you find yourself thinking, oh, shall I just say this? And it's lying and it's all wrong. Yeah, so but maybe Vegas they need to use it. It's a big it. lie, isn't it? It is, but maybe they need to use it as an excuse to sit down and work out what's going on do with you know what? If he'd, have, if he'd have said, um, I'm going to New York to watch the baseball and then had gone, I don't know, somewhere far, far less offensive maybe to some women than, than Vegas. Let's think about what happens in Vegas. Um, strip bars... Gambling. Get them anyway. Get them in New York. CSI. As well. Yeah, get them in Blackpool, <laughs> for goodness sake. But you get them in an abundance on one easy to reach strip in no, Las Vegas. I think I always think of Vegas more about gambling, and maybe that's what he was worried about because yeah, she be. was thinking. Oh, what would great. you say to him, Carl? Well, um, I I'm a bit with you on this because I think. Um, I mean, he's admitted that the reason he lied is because he knew she wouldn't let him go. I mean, what is she, his mother? You know, I mean. <laughs> The thing is, she wasn't bothered about him going to New York, but she's bothered about him going to... I'd be more upset if I was her that it seems all the other lads' wives knew, which would make me think, why didn't he tell me? Because to me, she sounds... There are women out there, I have to say, and I know one. Mm. Uh, well, I know a couple. But <laughs> one in particular who... They just go on... They do nag some yeah, women. You and could... life's, you just think, oh, do you know what? I'll just tell him I'm going to New York. And then I'll go, and then by the That's time... Well, there's two and things, it's a terrible though. way to have a relationship. But this mm. friend of mine, who's a complete nag, and I've told her this, um, they've been together 35 years, so there's some, she's doing something yeah. right. He but he likes to her all the time. He probably <laughs> likes her nagging. But the thing is, it could either be that she is incredibly insecure for no reason and, you know, that's why it's all happened, or that he is telling a massive lie and gone to Las Vegas to do all the things you do in Las Vegas. I would, I would suggest that she says to him, what, you know, why Las Vegas? What is it about Las Vegas that is so appealing? And if he can't answer, say, well, why don't we go together? Your treat, ridiculous. your treat, darling, seeing as you lied. Oh, you know, and then see what happens, and then if he turns out to be a compulsive gambler and womanizer, give him the elbows. <laughs> <laughs> Like a star, Linda. OK, next up is a letter to You magazine, Zelda Westmead. Uh, one woman says that her she went and lent her brother £4,500 four years ago when he was up to his neck in debt. Well, since then, he's paid back just £90 of the debt, despite Ooh. splashing out on a new kitchen and a holiday. Ooh. And when she lent him the money, he asked her specifically not to tell his wife. So, how can she get her money back? Oh, let me think. <laughs> <laughs> well, firstly, I would go to him and say, you need to pay the money back, or guess who I'm telling? <laughs> no, because the thing is, she did lend it to him and she stuck to her side of the bargain. Well, she didn't tell his wife. But four years down the line or whatever it is, and she still hasn't got her money back, I'd say, look, I need the money back or I am going to have to discuss this with your wife. Because mm -hmm. it would worry me why he hasn't told his wife. Well, I'd, I'd ask... I'd, I'd go to the wife and try and find out what the sit state of play is, you know, without... Money-wise. Uh, yeah, just say, you know, how's it going? You know, just try and suss out whether they've got any money, whether she's going, oh, it's terrible, and... I, I, or she's living in cloud cuckoo land and thinks he's a millionaire and got all this money, yeah, in which case... He's lying to her. Probably, yeah. yeah, well, I mean, probably. It might be that he's so up to his neck in debt and hasn't confessed uh, to the wife, who is then going off blissfully unaware, buying new kitchens and holidays, yeah. and, and he, all the time he's drowning more and more. Maybe yeah. what he needs is support from his sister rather than being chastised. Well, the thing is with me, I think, 
<laughs> so it's all right for him to lie about money but not go to Las Vegas. He's not the been in chat. Vegas with strippers, so I'm all right with that. He's been buying new furniture. I think um, if it was my brother and I asked him once, never got it back, I asked him twice, it would be three strikes you're out. I would say, forget it, I don't want it back. However, our relationship would be completely different and I wouldn't be able to help myself going round to that house going, mm, nice new carpet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just wouldn't be able to. However, do you know what? I wouldn't want it back. If he, ha if he, hadn't, if he wasn't... But you'd never uh, lend him me again. I would you know? never, ever lend him a penny again. But, would you, you know, carry on speaking to him? Mm, I'd probably, with difficulty, yeah, for the family. But I I'd say I, I don't want it back. Mm. Shove okay. it. Well, that's not... Thanks, ladies. Okay. <laughs> nice note to end on there, so... From the heart, oh, she's got a bedside banner, hasn't she? she? <laughs> Finally, penning her worries to Jane O'Gorman in The Express, a woman complains that she can't say no to food and that her family aren't helping. She says that when she says no to their dinner invites and home cooking, they just say, oh, go on, and inevitably, she just gives in. So if you were her, would you expect the support of your friends and family if you were trying to diet? Well, frankly, no, she's got to get on with it herself. You can't blame everybody else. Mm. I mean, obviously, you're going to be supportive, hopefully, eventually. But, no, no, she's got to learn to say no. And if, if they're not going to do that, she's got to take herself away from the family for a while Stop until she's... Stop uh, Zoe, if you want to lose weight, you lose weight. <laughs> It's as but simple as that. Not all of us have the willpower. Well, I'm sorry, then don't lose weight. It is that simple. <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult. I was on a diet and I went to someone's house and they had a chocolate fountain. I tell you what, I can't even tell you. Everyone's going, you're all right, go on, just have one, it won't hurt. Well, you know, you want to hear, maybe, you know, you'll be fine, don't... And, you know, I'm there with my mouth under <laughs> the fountain. Put your swimsuit on, we're... swimming in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you know what, I don't buy that, I, you know, that... that... I can't line because you can diet. Everybody can supervise, certainly in the Western world, what they eat. So if you want to lose weight, uh, quit complaining, keep your mouth shut, quite literally, yeah. and you'll find it'll fall off, love. <laughs> Stop eating yeah. yeah, but I think the thing is, you have to look at family and friends in a way that if you've told them, look, I'm really, really trying to lose weight, and every time you go around there going, go on, go on, and putting stuff in front of you. It's hard, It's that not is. great. It's not great, family no, and friends. You can't blame the family think, and friends. I don't friends. think you should go around and expect them not to have it, if that's what yeah. they want. But I don't think they should be forcing it on you. I think that's a bit cruel, really. And I think rather than worrying about not eating, the not eating side of it, she should feel empowered to be able to go around and face her family and friends and say, I'm in control of my life and I am doing this. Then when they all go on, go, get, no, do you not understand? Well, you know the way no. about it as well, to turn around and say to them, no, because I don't want to end up looking like you. Well, that's another one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I like them to try that. Okay, well that's enough advice for one day. We're back on. <laughs>